Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm currently one hour into a three and a half hour drive towards Southwest Virginia, where I'm gonna meet the boys Harris and Sebastian at the parking lot of the trailhead that we're gonna begin hiking tomorrow morning. Now, this hike, it's 35 miles long. It's a long one. We have never done anything like this before, but we're gonna challenge ourselves. I'll get more into the details later of this hike. I just gotta focus on getting there, meeting the boys, and going to bed. Because by the time we get there, it's gonna be 2.30 a.m. I'm gonna sleep a couple of hours, wake up in the morning, eat breakfast, and hit the trail. We have made it to the Dragon's Tooth parking lot. I'm gonna find a spot to park and sleep. And I'm gonna wait for the boys to come to. Luke is here. <laughs> What's up? So this is the trailhead. We're here. We are gonna go across the street where we came from and start North Mountain first tomorrow. So we'll do a more more briefing tomorrow. So it's 2:30 a.m. right now. Plan is to sleep for a couple of hours, four or five hours. Wake up at no later than eight. Yeah. Make breakfast. Hit the trails by nine. 20 mile day tomorrow. Yeah, we're gonna do five hours. Gonna hit hopefully just over 10 miles. And then an hour break for lunch. And then another five hours to complete our 20 mile day. Good night boys, 8 a.m. roll call. Gonna go to bed, get a couple hours of sleep, wake up at 8 a.m., hit the trails by 9. Got a long day ahead of us tomorrow and a long weekend. Mm, good morning. It's like 8.30 a.m. It was raining hard like all night and now it's just drizzling and it's cold. And it's not ideal but... You gotta send it. Oh. That's not bad. Good morning. So we're gonna make some breakfast under this little trailhead area here. Just got some granola and some coffee. And then we're gonna hit the trails. Mm. It's so good, dude. It just warms you up. Mm -hmm. So we're about to begin. We're doing a 35 mile loop, the Virginia Triple Crown Loop, which consists of three major points, three major hiking points in Virginia, including McAfee Knob, which is the most photographed spot on the Appalachian Trail. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Basically, we're gonna do here, all of this. That's what we're gonna do between today and tomorrow. So we're starting here. We're gonna walk back down that way to the road and tackle North Mountain, which is roughly 11 miles. There's no water source along here. And it's the most annoying part probably. So we're gonna tackle that first. Make sure it's safe. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Good over, Seth. I'll do it Three, two, one. All right, let's go. Down this way. Yo, 
Can we take a break? <laughs> North Mountain, let's get it. 11 miles, 2200 feet elevation gain, roughly. <laughs> the most difficult. Only a mile in, and this is rough, but just gotta keep pushing. This is pretty. <laughs> yeah, we're about just over halfway done with North Mountain. We'll get to the junction and start going towards the first crown of the three Tinker Cliffs. Finally starting to clear up a little bit. This is actually nice now. Oh. It's clearing up on this side, but we gotta go this side and it's still foggy. We're at the junction here, finally. Toba Valley Trail. Just about a mile here to the road. So we're gonna get to the road in a little and eventually walk up these mountains here. Gosh. So we started here today at 9.45 a.m. Went all the way on the yellow, and where are we now? Yeah, all the way up there. Oh my, wow, down all the way, all the way. Down See, this, here, this now we're This was two and a half here. miles when we got off North Mountain Trail. Yeah, Finally, yeah. pavement. Make some lunch. Chilling on Catawba Road, waiting for a grub to cook. So I got beef stroganoff noodles, and I added this freeze-dried buttered broccoli, and that looks good.
Not as good. It's the first time I've utilized like everything. So we're trying to go here, all the way to here. Yeah, then well, we have to do it like that. And then tomorrow is that here. Yeah, it doesn't seem too bad. Dragon's Tooth and then back. At elevation 1500, Tinker Cliffs is at 2890, so 2900. So 1400 ele feet elevation gain. Yeah, so this is four miles to here. And then I'm guessing an additional four, maybe just, yeah, just an additional four. All right, let's four. go, let's go. Basically, just stick right after this. Fixed into water, just nasty. So, we're not going up in these, but we're gonna edge this one. Yeah, that is insane. I my estimate was off. I'm hoping it's like actually seven miles. On the Andy Lane Trail. So nice, nice nature walk. Dude, I can't get over the two peaks right there. This is so nice. Oh, there's the water source. This looks so nice. This is so nice. This is so picturesque. If I can even get my pack through here. Wow, look at this. That is pretty. Wow. That is sick, wow. Wow. One more rock. Staircase all the way up. Wow. This incline is insane. Oh my goodness. Still on the Andy Lane Trail, but that is beautiful. Wow. That is pretty. This is so stunning, dude. Tinker Cliffs right up there. A little bit more to go. 
feels so good knowing that our first crown is right up there. I think we're close half a mile, dude, to our first crown. Finally on the Appalachian Trail. In the march up to Tinker Cliff. They're all Tinker Cliffs right there. That is, that is sick. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Insane, dude. crown and this is already insane the beam of the light look at that beam dude Goodbye Tinker Cliffs. Next time. Looks like the sun is just gonna burst through. We've got about four and a half miles to Pig Farm campsite near McAfee Knob. Might be full, might not be, I don't know, but if the shelter and or campsite are both full. Pitch our tents in the woods somewhere. <laughs> we had to poncho up and get our rain gear out. I just gotta drop and sit, dude. Yeah. Oh, shit. Just gotta 
fire there. I got 11 hours, 40 minutes. For the yeah, same. 41 I got 20 miles. 4,700 feet. 27.32, so minus 6.25. Basically 21 miles. Yes, sir. Oh, man. I've been waiting 20 miles for this. That's fantastic, dude. That is so good. How is it? That is so good. For dinner, I got a mangled chicken and rice with red bell peppers, carrots, celery. I'm gonna throw in the rest of this freeze dried butter broccoli. This baby has 43 grams of protein. I don't know how. So we put up this poncho tarp here to cover the gust. There's a slight wind coming in, so it's a little bit warmer now. And just privacy. We're gonna have some people coming in here in the morning for sure. This is a proper little makeshift wall here. That is nice. Dessert. Is that like yeah, perfect. Mm. Just set it down. This is the setup here. The tarp is actually doing a nice job blocking the Yeah, it really is. It's pretty cozy in here. Yeah. Head in the hay after a 20 mile day. Good night, boys. Sebastian's mm -hmm. mummified. <laughs> Good night. Which one did you get? It's Cheese, pork, and beer. That sounds better than pork patty. <laughs> <laughs> With ma and they gave me maple syrup for it. <laughs> Man, what are you talking about? That sounds really good. Not um, like from an MRE though. by Campbell Shelter, treated us well. It's on this water source here. We have absolutely zero water. Nice 
nice watery scrambled eggs. Pretty good. They should have put more bacon, but refilled water, grubbed on to McAfee up. McAfee knob up there. Crown two out of three here. McAfee knob. <laughs> the most photographed spot along the Appalachian Trail. Clearly. Iconic. Literally iconic, man. Yeah, once yeah. 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 I know, right? I'll sit right here. Yeah. I know, right? And you've got her posted all over the Yes, yeah, there's, yeah. She was last seen up here. Okay, gotcha. You still find out what And that's North Mountain right there. We did all that yesterday. Up to Tinker Cliffs. And stopped somewhere down here to camp. And went all the way up here. That's insane. There's literally a whole route right here. We just left the McAfee knob. Making the truck to the third and final crown. Dragon's Tooth. After this 2.6 miles, we got just over five miles to the car. Still on the Appalachian Trail. It's so pretty. Nice pines. We've been chipping away at Sawtooth Ridge past McAfee Knob now for the past three ish miles. We're demoralized right now. Lots of ups and downs. Just going slow. Trying to get to a little grocery store. Absolutely replenish. Because we're out of food. Almost out of water. And then go back to the parking lot where we started the video. Drop all of our bags off in our cars. Finish the last crown. That's the plan. Last sawtooth here on Sawtooth Ridge. It's so beautiful, but it's so hard to enjoy it. Had to take a break. About to finish up Sawtooth Ridge. Finishing up the last bits of our water before we absolutely replenish at Catawba Grocery. Just taking in these views for once. Wow. We have done minus 
camping last night. 16 hours and 40 minutes, 28 miles, 6,500 feet elevation gain. Oh, look at that. That is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Wow. Dude. What? Like that's like, that is so beautiful. Wow. Appalachian Trail, man. Gorgeous. We believe that is Dragon's Tooth up there. The last crown that we have to do, which we are cutting really, really short. It's five o'clock right now. I gotta get all three crowns. I'm gonna do it. I think there's gonna be, yeah, some water down here. There should be. Just hit 29 miles. <laughs> this is so beautiful, dude. Ooh. Cold. Yeah. Good. Heal the feet, man. I'm just, I'm just gonna stand like this. I'm getting in. <laughs> I needed that. I'm about to hit a road, cross the road, have to do another little mountain, then get back on another road, and eventually walk to the grocery store where we're gonna absolutely replenish and feast. And then we gotta send it to a dragon's tooth. Hopefully catch it right at around sunset. It's gonna to be tough, it's gonna to be a crunch. Yeah, beautiful Appalachian Trail, man. just came down from all of those ridges. You can see a sawtooth ridge. That's why they call it that. Now you can kind of see, I guess there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven-ish, eight. There's several, man, at least 10. <laughs> ah! Dude, you're gonna get kicked. Look at that. Look at that. They're massive. We were waiting for these for a minute. The cows there. <laughs> Officially hit 30 miles for the entire trip. I just left the boys. I, just, I know it's not smart to to stray away, but I just got an insane second win. I don't know how to describe it. Like I am absolutely flying right now because we got to get to the road. From the road, we got to walk all the way to the grocery store where we're going to replenish and I want to get there so bad. I'm just, I'm absolutely blazing right now. I'm still moving at an insane pace right now. I feel superhuman. Goodbye Appalachian Trail. Normally you'd continue up here and you'd walk all the way up to Dragon's Tooth from here, but we need to do a replenishment at the grocery store, which we've been waiting for for what feels like an eternity now. So walking on this road for a little bit, I'm gonna cut a left and then get to the grocery store. I would and I could and I should wait for the boys here, but I'm moving at an insane pace right now that I have not felt. 
<laughs> at all. So I'm, I'm gonna continue. They know where they're supposed to go. So, and they're together. I normally don't like going off course like this, but we need this replenishment. And we still have done the whole loop. No, no cheating, no, no shortcuts, no hitch and rides, none of that. So I still feel absolutely fulfilled. There she is, the grocery store. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. Oh, it's like heaven on earth. This feels so good right now. This is what I got. All oh, my shoulders hurt so bad. <laughs> After just literally salvaging water from streams, this is amazing. I was about to pull out my water and drink it. <laughs> just go inside him. <coughs> it's like heaven, dude. I'm doing the Snickers ice cream first. Mmm. Complete replenishment. Mm. Just replenished. We're gonna finish this last crown. That's a sign to the parking lot. That's where we started yesterday. <sighs> Finally. That's an absolute beautiful sight. Just to see the cars. <laughs> Come on. Can't be full though, because we're just dropping the packs. And we got another three and a half miles to the last crown, and the sun is going down. Water bottle. Oh. Last crown, let's get it, Dragon's Tooth. Let's get it. Not bad. Sunset was at 7.37. It's 7.45 right now. We got like two miles till we're up there, so. We're gonna get to the Dragon's Tooth when it's dark, unfortunately, so. Not really any good photo or video, but we gotta, we gotta do it, we gotta get all three crowns. And this is literally the point where you just wanna stop, get in your car, drive home, but no way. You got one more crown left to do. Day or night, he came all this way, hiked over 30 miles, you can't stop now, no way. 0.7 miles. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. This is where it starts to get sketchy. Man, if only this was during the day. It's so beautiful right now. Y'all can kind of see the silhouette of the mountains. Jeez, this is rough, especially in the nighttime. This is another level right now. This is taking a minute, man. But, gotta go. That's insane. See the blazes? They go all the way up there. Let's freaking do this. Oh. 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 
This is a freaking scramble, man. Seriously. Wow. Y'all can't see this, but you can see silhouette of the mountains here. That's insane. This is actually an insane scramble. This is not something you want to be doing in the nighttime by yourself. Point one mile. Final stretch. There she is. Y'all can't see it at all. But it's this massive rock structure. That is insane. Normally I would climb it, or at least some of it, but wow. I'm not doing it now. That is insane. God, I'm so bummed y'all can't see it. But literally just like hanging over my head is just this rock structure that gets sharper and sharper at the top. That's why they call it Dragon's Tooth. Oh, I'm so bummed I would climb it if it was lighter out and if I wasn't alone, but it's not the smart thing to do. Coming up here alone in the dark is not a good thing to do, let alone climb the dragon's tooth, so. I'm just gonna go up and touch the tooth. <sighs> there she is. It goes all the way up. That is insane. The boys pulled up, so. She's going back. Got to the tooth. <laughs> there we go. 2.4 miles to the parking area. Let's go. 1.7, let's go. That's it. Here's where we at. Oh yeah. Let's stop it right where we started. 36.71 miles. finish evening hike wow virginia triple crown done and dusted I, in two I days do want it. Not that was intense wow good stuff man so what, a hike. what a hike ready to go home <laughs> That's it, that's the Virginia Triple Crown Loop. That was certainly the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. There are many times where I just wanted to stop and quit. Just not an option, man. Not an option. I would have felt very disappointed in myself. You have to keep going. And we, ju we just kept going and we finished it. The best way to do it is in three days, but we did it in two days. Nearly 37 miles total around 8,300 feet in elevation gain. That was not only mine, but Harris's and Sebastian's first proper backpacking trips. It was only one night, but still insanely rough. Thank you guys for joining us on the Sufferfest. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>